McCallum. He is the director of design for Jaguar. Jaguar has finally come into the crossover market. Yeah. First question, what took you guys so long? Do you know what? When I started the job 15 years ago, they were asking me, should we do an SUV? And I said, no. They asked me 10 years ago, I still said no. They asked me five years ago, I still said no. I didn't think it was fault? right. So partly my fault. Everybody else felt the same. And then we asked the customers around the world, and they finally said, yeah, get on with it, will you? So it's just, and there's other things to be done as well. We had to revamp the rest of the range and bring out other new cars. So yeah, we're kind of a bit late there, but when we get there, we come in with a bang. I was going to say, you've kept Jaguar styling intact. Thank you, yes, I think so. Was that a big... Was that a big stressor or juggle it, to try it, and maintain? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a challenge, you know, because I'd never done a car like this before. All my cars are low and sleek and long, and this is all about height. And so we really had to work hard to make sure the lines in there worked like a sports car. And if you look at it, it's got some really nice felt lines, a little bit of the F type around the back end. So, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's worked. Have, have you worked the aluminum architecture into this vehicle like you have yeah. the rest of the line? Yeah, this car is all aluminum, or aluminium, that's what we call it. Um, structure, it makes it very light, but also even more important, it makes it very agile. It's a great car to drive. It's like a sports car to drive because it's not got a huge mass around it. You're talking about a two-liter diesel at some point coming in. Has the Volkswagen problem, have, do you anticipate that having any impact on sales? Not that we noticed, no. I've, we found that in Europe, where diesels are prevalent, it hasn't really affected our sales at all. And uh, of course, we do genuine diesels which work very well in terms of CO2 and NOx and everything else. So we're very confident that diesel is fine. But so far, we've seen no rebound in that for us, no. In this segment, especially up in the luxury levels, the cars are doing really, really well. As you mentioned, you're a little bit late to the game. It is a beautiful vehicle. Do you have the capacity to keep up with anticipated sales? Like, are you? Well, every time I talk to the sales guys, the, uh, the volume seems to be going up every day, so uh, I hope so. But, you know, one thing we will not skimp on is quality. So we'll make the number of cars we can make within the quality we want to make them in. But I think we'll keep up. There'll be big demand, though. This looks like a car that's going to be a big seller for you, especially in North America, where these are the kind of cars that people are still wanting. Yeah. And actually, after the success of the F-Type, which yeah. just rejuvenated that yeah. into the brand, I think this is going to be a terrific car for the Jaguar. Yeah, do you know something that's quite ironic? It's probably going to be the biggest selling Jaguar ever. Okay, you just heard it here on tape. Ian Callum, who's head designer with Jaguar, the biggest seller. Thanks, Ian. That's probably true. <laughs> Thank you.